Okay, uh, this video is just on how to draw free by diagrams. Um, the way this works is this. You can basically cut this part any place you want. So if I take this part, I'm going to just cut some small cross section. I'll show you what you do. If I cut it right through here, I'll cut it through that area, I'll cut it through this area here, and honestly you can come back down and cut it through this area here if you want to. And I'll show you what happens. So if I cut it here, and I'm going to draw my free by diagram that shape, let's get myself a little rectangle here. And what I would do would be apply the loads, and I would have eight kips coming in like that. Immediately, I'd have to have eight kips coming back out like that. Because that object has got to be balanced. Otherwise, again, it has to accelerate. So that would be what it would look like if I just cut right through. That cut right there represents this right here. Now let's move it back over to the um, to the other side. Now if I cut here, <clears throat> what I would see would be something like a small piece. Uh, we have a larger piece like this. And I'll reapply my loads. Five coming out this way, and five coming out this way. Oops, can I get straighter? I have this one coming back in like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll label these. I got five kips here. I have five kips here. Now the other thing you could have done would have been, since I cut this one here, I had eight kips coming down here, according to Newton's, for every force is equal to opposite, this would have to point back this way here. So let's have eight kips here. Now sum your forces. You've got ten coming this way, you've got eight coming this way. So I need more going to go back to balance this out. So I'd have to have two coming back this way. If I could draw straight. Again, all you're doing is summation of forces in x direction. So this has to be two kips here. Okay, so that's the middle part. Okay, so now let's say what's going to happen here. Let's cut it right here and see what's going to happen here. All right, we know right now that we have two pushing this way, so I have to have two coming back this way. All right, so if I look at this cross section here, it better be balanced whether I go left or right. So we're going to cut it here and look to the left. Oops, I need the right piece. Little piece here. Little piece like that. Okay, move this over. Now I have two kips coming down this way on this member here, so I can immediately say that I have to have two kips going back this way. That would be two kips here. And now you look here, you have two kips pushing back here. Two kips pushing back here. And actually, well, I guess what I'm looking at, I'm looking at what's taking place between this part right here. So I'm looking at, not really at this end, I'm looking right in here. All right, so I'm going to label everything. I have two kips going to the left. I have two kips coming this way. And two coming this way. So now, do I not have to have six kips going back this way to balance everything out? So everything here is equilibrium, everything here is equilibrium, everything here is equilibrium. Now I come to this part, look at this. All right. So if, this is a good example because now I'm going I'm to look what's taking place looking this direction here. I said I got six kips pushing out here, but what's going to happen if I look, oh, let me get rid of this. If I get, look right here. all over the place. 
six kips pushing in, six kips would have to come back out the opposite way according to Newton. But what does this say? This says six, sorry, right here. This says six kips pushing out this way. So everything is balanced. Again, it doesn't matter whether I come from the left and go to the right, or go from the right and come to the left. Everything will look just like this. And that's all you have to do to draw your free body diagrams. These are your free body diagrams. If you cut here, if you have eight coming in, eight has to go back out. Then when you take this and look in this way, look in this cross section here, since you had eight going to the left, eight must come back to the right. So then I had eight here, I had 10 coming to the left, 10 minus eight, that gives me two. So I have to have another two coming back this way. So now I've done this, now when I look here, I have two coming back this way, so it has to react opposite on this member, go back this way. I have two, four, six, that's six. Summation of forces, this has to go back six this way. So I know that this has to, to push back six here, so now when I look at this, six has to go the opposite direction and everything is balanced. And that's all you gotta do to do these free body diagrams, okay?